Welcome to the review of a new ISDT product, BG8S, a smart battery checker as ISDT calls it. Question is, do we really need another battery checker on the market? Let's find out, shall we? First, let's have a quick look at the package content as it contains a couple extra items. Normally with ISDT, there are no extras included. In case of BG8S, Apart from the product itself, we get the user manual, lanyard and the screen protector. It's a nice package to be honest, especially if one doesn't expect any extras. In terms of user interactions and user interface, there is not much I can show you here. The reason for that is this is a very simple product and the user interface is very straightforward. So after plugging in a battery we have the main screen which shows the battery information including individual cell voltages. To get to the main menu we press the middle button and from the top we have language selection. We have backlight settings, let's go from low through middle to high. The high setting is really bright which makes this tester very easy to use outside. The volume setting, we can switch it off, select to low, middle or high. The system information for you. Receiver tester, at the moment we can test S bus and PWM receivers. Alarm tone goes from off to single to repeat. At the moment it only works as a single alarm, so this feature has to be changed in the future firmware updates. Low voltage alarm, we can set our level here. USB charge, we can start and stop here. And cell balance, we can start it here or we can go back to the main screen. So, we had a quick look at the available features, and you may be wondering, is the BG8S just another fancy, super accurate LiPo checker with a USB charging port? Well, yes and no. It also has a few additional and unique features. First of them is voltage reading accuracy. If you have a look here, we can see that it shows the cell voltage up to the thousandth of a volt. It's very nice, but do we really need that? Well, probably not, but on the other hand, if you have that feature then why not? We also have a battery balancing feature, which is super nice in theory, but pretty much useless if you ask me. First of all, we have our charges to do that job for us, and on top of that, it takes forever to perform the task. Let me show you. The color of the cell numbers changes from black to red. When it's red, it means that the cell is being discharged. The black cells are the ones being charged. As you can see, it's taking forever to find balance this battery that wasn't even massively unbalanced to start with. We are talking about the thousandths of a volt. Apart from that, there is also a receiver tester function, which allows to test PWM and SBUS receivers. According to ISDT website, other protocols will be added through future firmware upgrades. This is quite a useful feature, especially if you have to test your receiver in the field. I'm not 100% sure how you're supposed to connect a receiver to the um, device, as the user manual doesn't mention that, but I would imagine it has to be through the balancing port as there is no other inputs on the device apart from that. One thing I really like about the product is the inclusion of the USB charging port. This is quite a unique feature actually, 
because it's not just an ordinary USB charging port. It is compatible with Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 and 2.0. Unfortunately, I don't have any compatible devices to test that, but the port doesn't have problems delivering 3 amps at 5 volts. I cannot push the tester any further as overcurrent protection kicks in after 3 amps, but this is a solid performance nevertheless. Next thing I want to mention is the screen. I should have probably started with that. Why is this even worth talking about? First, the screen is super bright, which makes it easy to read in bright light. It has 260k color display, which I cannot verify, but the screen does look fantastic. The resolution seems to be quite high as well, which I hope you can actually see in the video. Let me just show you. Now, let's move on to something truly unique here. I'm talking about this new technology developed by ISDT called BATGO. There is some information available on ISDT website. Plus, there is also a dedicated BATGO site. But it is still not 100% clear what this is all about. There is lots of information available there. But everything seems to be rather vague and there are not that many specific information regarding the technology. As far as I understand, this will enable implementation of smart batteries through a special chip built into a battery. This should allow some extra functionality like checking the charging history, accessing maybe cell and battery performance, checking discharge rates, seeing if the battery was overcharged or pretty much we could access anything that could be recorded and stored on a chip. If you need more details uh, regarding the technology, please visit ISDT website. Essentially what we have here is the first BATGO compatible device on the market. As you can see, it contains this new XT60 port here, it's called XT60i. It was developed with ISDT and AMAS and it contains an extra pin on top. I hope you can see that. And this extra pin, it's probably used to connect to the BATGO chip built into a battery. I'm not sure if ISDT hopes to convince battery manufacturers to build this technology into their batteries or if they simply considering getting into LiPo manufacturing or selling business. I'm not sure how useful that technology will be in real life and whether this is going to be a gimmick or not. But it's really nice to see some innovation happening and it's good to know that manufacturers are trying to improve the products. Obviously, I have to mention that the BATGO feature is useless at the moment as there are no compatible batteries available yet. And last thing I want to mention here is the inclusion of a USB port which can be used to update the firmware. I think this is something many ISDT users have been asking for and I'm glad to see ISDT moving away from a proprietary port. Well done! And that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you about BG8S. Let me quickly conclude the review. ISDT has managed to introduce another excellent product with many unique features. True, some of them may be less useful than the others, and the bad goal technology is still in development, but that doesn't change the fact it's a great little device. I think BG8S is not really just a battery checker, and it's more of a field companion. Many of its features suggest that, for example, super bright screen, receiver testing function, or excellent fast USB charging port. These are all the features that come in handy when in the field. Question is, do we really need such a product? Well, probably not. I'm sure we can live without it. But do we want it? Definitely yes. Should you buy it? I do hope you have all the information 
you need to make up your mind. However, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or join the discussion at RC Group's forums. Thank you for watching.